of the Jameson Dublin International Film Festival and to say it's jam-packed is an understatement. Now later on Alicia will be checking out the surprise film but now we go down the rabbit hole to Wonderland. No, I sort of painted it a sort of dark brown. I was very badly behaved, but very quietly. And how is the film festival treating you guys so far? Great, it's always a pleasure to be in Dublin. Yeah, it's, well, it's a lovely place to be, and uh, we're being looked after grandly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I am, I don't know about <laughs> I was here with uh, Heartland as many years ago, uh, that was uh, uh, directed by uh, Damien. Uh, O'Donnell and uh, so I, I was here for that a long time ago and I've shot a couple of films here I did a film called Laws of Attraction with Pierce Brosnan and Julianne Moore and League of Gentlemen's Apocalypse so I've had a great time here no stranger here at all no. well this I'll tell you what what's nice about this it, is very relaxed so you don't and the people who are looking after us are great and so you know it's uh, you know it's it's Ireland it's always fun to be here yeah. <laughs> Not once. No, no, I didn't say not once on this. We saw each other the other night at the premiere. I think I heard you in. I think you were. Heard, I heard you were in. I think you left just as I arrived. Oh, really? I yeah, you. I made sure that I left before <laughs> yeah, you. Arrived. Of course, he always does. He clears out when I turn up. <laughs> Alice. <laughs> oh, I used to have lovely blonde curls. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I, the Cheshire Cat maybe, it's a great character, but Stephen Fry is brilliant as that. Yeah. So maybe the Queen of Hearts, that would have been a good part. Yeah, any old queen, I'll oh, yeah. any old queen. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for talking to us today. All Thank right, you. cheers. Cheers. It's the closing afternoon of the Jemison Dublin International Film Festival, which can only mean one thing, the surprise film. Now, as per usual, it is sold out the minute the box office opened, so what's it going to be this year? Well, we're going to get some predictions from those attending today's screening. I think it might be Buried, the Ryan Reynolds film. I think it might be Green Zone. Um, I honestly don't know. I have no idea at all. Ask her. <laughs> I think it might be Green Zone. It's opening out soon. Green Zone, Matt Damon. And you're a Matt Damon fan? I like him, yeah, I really like him. And would you be disappointed if it was kind of an indie film or an old film? No, I mean, I'm open to anything here, so whatever it is, I'm going to enjoy it. Easy to please. Yes, we I like am. That. Yes. I, like that. <laughs> I think the surprise movie is going to be Gentleman Broncos by the director of Napoleon Dynamo. And why do you think it's going to be that kind of film? It's the perfect movie. It's funny, it's quirky, it's everything the film festival would like to be. And have you ever been to the surprise film before? Oh, yes. You Every respond. year? Every time. And what's been the best one that you've seen so far? 300. I'm hoping it's kick-ass. I'm dying to see that the trailers look great and all the clips and stuff look great. So, fingers crossed. I have an inkling of my be, But, you know, whatever it'll be, I'm sure it'll be cool. It was Greenberg. And what was it about? It was about this guy who has just come out of a mental institution. He's He suffers greatly from anxiety, but it's really about how he's trying to deal with um, making himself into a better person and trying harder with his friends, trying harder with his family. And uh, it just leads to really kind of funny circumstances. Good choice? Yeah, it was good. Ben Stiller was in it. It was quite good. Okay. Quite funny. Thank you. Wasn't too impressed. No? Yeah, but I wasn't too disappointed either. I, especially last year. What was the reaction in the auditorium? I don't think people knew what it was. Yeah. I think that's what it is. So people are probably just waiting to see what's going on. You know, But it wasn't bad. It was kind of a offbeat character study sound. Ben Stiller, an immensely unlikable Ben Stiller, has to be said, but it wasn't a bad movie. One of the most glorious surprises, I think, was about four years ago when Michael unveiled The Squid and the Whale as the surprise, and it's sort of gone down in sort of surprise history, I suppose, surprise film history, as being a wonderful surprise. And so there was a sort of sense of, if we could get the new Noah um, Bambach film, then that would be the one to go for. And then I had a chance to see it, and I loved Ben Stiller in it, and I thought it would actually appeal to the sort of cross-reference of... of to, wide variety of audiences that we actually get the, the actual surprise that I want to be doing nothing I'm doing nothing deliberately you like me so much more than you think you do I don't understand what happened to me it's huge you finally embraced the life you never planned on 